You're listening to Answers from the Akashic Records, a world of empowerment service from Angel Rose and Ahanu. This is a summary of the Answers from the Akashic Records session with Angel Rose and Ahanu on sickness, dying and death. Sickness is not acknowledged as real by God's source. Sickness is the perception that we are away from our spiritual home. Sickness is the belief that we are abandoned, alone and without God's love. Sickness comes from the belief in separation, including the separation from God's source. As long as we believe we are separate, we are effectively sick. Unless we feel complete and perfect love, we are in some degree of sickness. Our perceptions make us feel alone. 60 to 70 percent of our sense of ourselves is based on misperceptions and distortions. Sickness is not natural and originates from our distorted perception of reality. Aging and death is perception related. We watch nature aging and dying and believe it to be natural. Source is an eternal life system. Our constructive paradigm leads us to believe sickness, aging and death is natural. We have accepted sickness, aging and dying as a belief that we all contribute to. Evidence of life always finds a way to shine through to us. Genetics are as much a perception as any belief system. Genetics are a portion of history that can be altered with consciousness. Genetic predispositions are not absolutes. Everyone is born with an astrological blueprint which unfolds according to your design, but your awareness and choices can avert any negative aspect of this design. All healing happens with the knowing of God's love. You are loved unconditionally, there is no judgment. You are sustained by the love of God. These are the principles of healing. Sickness will always be here until we change our collective minds. There is no favoritism in God's source. When you live out of innocence, healing is natural. Healing can be defined on the level of nature as the antidote is always nearby to the venom. All people have the right to choose sickness and death. With self-mastery you unravel the meaning of all sickness. The best way to heal yourself is always at the level of your own consciousness. In the love of God's source Healing is always desirable, but an individual may not always accept this to be true. Sending love to others is always appropriate. At the level of truth, everyone is loved and healed. Love is powerful with miracle potential and is always received at the level a person is capable of receiving it. Many near-death experiencers are told by a higher part of themselves that their earth experience is not done yet. Everything is perfect at its own level of consciousness. Food is not the only factor that facilitates good health. Not all healing is perceived on the level of the physical body. Animals and plants have a collective soul that moves in unison with each other. After death, 
Time and space don't exist. Time is a construct of our linear perception. Many people have open contracts that do not predetermine their time to die. Sometimes death can lead to the growth of compassion and love in those left behind. Reiki can heal many illnesses, but there are frequencies it cannot reach. Healing modalities work at the frequency they resonate at themselves. You've been listening to Answers from the Akashic Records, a world of empowerment service from Angel Rose and Ahanu. To get the profound statements from the Akashic Records in your mailbox each week, log on to worldofempowerment.com.